Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom and in today's tutorial we're going to do something we've done before and we're going to use a built-in function called length or len for short. Um, it's actually called len but this built-in function gives us the ability to check how many objects are contained in the data type. So since we're working with tuples we might as well see how many objects we have contained in a tuple. Um, this is very simple, very straightforward, but this can be useful. Um, if you're writing a program and you need to know how many pieces of data you got or separate pieces of data you got in your tuple, you can just call a basic function that Python has already built in that gives us the ability to check that number of objects. So let's go ahead and just take a look at a couple of examples here. Uh, this is, like I said, going to be a short tutorial. So uh, I'm going to assign A to represent my first tuple here. and We're going to do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I'm just going to call the build-in function. So it's len and then parentheses. And I'm going to call my tuple that's represented by A inside as an argument in my function. And I hit return and I get five. I get five objects are contained in my tuple. So we go one, two, three, four, and five. And Python returns an integer of five, saying, hey, there's five objects in there. Let's take another look Look at another example, I should say. And we're going to be uh, represent our next tuple. And this tuple is going to have eh, a couple different data types in it. So we, we got cat, so we got a string, we got an integer, we got a floating point number. Um, we'll put a list, uh, three, and we'll uh, say dog. Um, hey, let's, let's throw a dictionary in there as well. And we'll say name. And we'll use my name. And that's it. We'll close out our tuple. Now, I did this for one reason because well, as we're walking through. Uh, working through tuples, I really haven't shown you that you can put a bunch of different pieces of data in a tuple. So we got a cat, we got an integer, we got a floating point number, we got a list that contains an uh, uh, integer and a string, and then we got a dictionary that contains a key and a value inside our tuple. All right, so cool, we can have a whole bunch of different uh, pieces of data or data types in a tuple. So um, with length, if I call len, our built-in function length, it's going to return the number of objects contained in the tuple to us. I'm going to call uh, the variable, or I need to add the variable as an argument because it represents our tuple. So I'm going to use b and close out my parentheses, hit return, and I get five. All right, so I had five objects. So let's count them. One, two, three, and the whole list here is an object, so four. And the whole dictionary here is an object, so five. So we had five, just like up here we had five, we had five. All right, so um, another thing that we did touch base on when working with tuples was using the built-in function tuple, which uh, gives us the ability to create a tuple out of uh, an object, for example, a string. So let's take a look at that. But this is what we kind of got to think about this one um, from inside out. All right, so we're going to use a string, uh, Mississippi. So we'll do something like this, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. All right, so that's our string. All right, so that's what we're going to use. I'm going to delete that because that's not how I want to write it. And then we're going to use the built-in function tuples because we want to change the string into a tuple. So we kind of want it to look like um, like this along those lines. So comma separated um, characters. Uh, I'm not going to type it all out because it would take too long. So that's why we had the tuple built-in function to do that for me. And then we want to find the, how many objects, or in this case, how many characters are in Mississippi. All right. So... We're going to first need to call len, the built-in function for length. Sorry, I paused the video. Um, so we got len, and that's going to find the length of our tuple. Now we need to 
create a tuple. So we use a built-in function tuple, um, and tuple will create uh, an object into a tuple. So in this case, we're going to do Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. All right, and we got to close out our tuple uh, build-in function, close out our length uh, build-in function. So first thing it's going to do is convert Mississippi into a um, tuple, and the next thing it's going to do is count how many objects are contained in that tuple. So at return, we get 11. So there's 11 characters in Mississippi. Um, just to show you what the tuple looks like with Mississippi, so you're not confused, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I, and there you go. That's what it returned to us, and then we called length on that. So if you have any questions about uh, finding the number of objects or the length of a uh, tuple, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. We'll see you in the next one.